Amy from Vagabond Youth and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Doc Martin 1460. So I ordered these a couple of weeks ago and you guys probably don't see it a lot from my videos but I live in combat boots and combat boots are sort of just like what Uggs are to normal people. They're kind of just like the lazy shoe that I wear every day or just wear to school religiously and so um, the ones that I've been wearing have been kind of ratty and beaten up by the years as I've had them for a really long time now and I decided it was time for an upgrade so I went ahead and I ordered the Doc Martin 1460. Now I think of these as not a splurge as they were pretty expensive but I see them more as an investment piece because I know that Doc Martens are sort of like the Chuck Taylors. They'll never go out of style and they'll always be kind of trendy and they just fit to a certain um, style or type that I'm really into. I've always wanted to purchase a pair but um, for some reason never really thought that I would get a lot of wear out of them but now that I've purchased them and I've, I've worn them out I realize that um, I should have gotten them a lot sooner. I ordered these from the Robert Wayne Footwear Company and it's a company I've never even heard of but they were the only company after checking Zappos, Journeys and pretty much all of the big name retailers online that had the size that I wanted and the color that I wanted. So I went ahead and bought these and they were... They were pretty reasonable for Doc Martens because I've seen these on Amazon for up to $148 and then on the Doc Martens I, I think around $110 ish, I'm not sure. But they were $114.99. But with tax, it was $125.05, which I thought was really good compared to a lot of other places. And um, they came in this box and they actually had tissue paper covering the boots, but I've as you can probably can see, I've already worn them, and they just come like this, and I think they're, <clears throat> I think they're a really statement but casual boot, and I got them in the cherry red smooth, and they also come with, they come pre-laced, and they also come with a pair of yellow laces. Prior to purchasing these boots, I actually read a ton of reviews, and, um, Pretty much the reviews were 50-50. They said that the boot was either going to fit too big or too small. And having a bit of mixed feelings, because I can't always trust what the people on the internet say, I went ahead and asked a friend of mine who actually has a pair, um, and she said to go a size down because they stretch, which is true. However, um, my foot is actually really narrow and very high arch, so kind of my foot doesn't touch the ground so my foot looks like this in a shoe so um, when I ordered these I ordered them in a size 7 now I usually wear it from a size 7 to 7.5 but usually I prefer to go with a 7.5 um, but I went, I went ahead and listened to her and when I got these boots they did fit however tightly and I could feel that they would stretch but the problem with it was that um, as you guys probably already know, the Doc Martin is a very sturdy shoe. You could basically get stepped on it, you wouldn't even feel it, um, except for a little bit of pressure. But um, right here was the part that was um, the most durable. If you guys don't know, it doesn't move at all. So when I ordered them and my foot went in, my foot was getting severely jabbed by the boot. So after just five minutes of trying them on and kind of messing around with them at home, I realized that when I took my foot out with the socks on, my entire front part of my foot was just throbbing and red. So I had to return these and I got them in a size 8. So they do fit big, however, I just wear three pairs of socks. So I wear a pair of my own socks, um, which are really thin, and a pair of my mom's socks, which are a medium amount of thickness, and then my dad's, which is really thick athletic socks, and they seem to fit fine and perfectly. So I would definitely say that if you have rather skinny or narrow feet that are really flat-footed, you should really go a size down, and if you have kind of wide or arched feet, go a size up. As for comfort level, I think they're very comfy and it feels like I'm walking on a bunch of clouds because as they say, um, it's with soles bouncing, so um, they're really cushiony and I know a lot of people say that they're uncomfortable or they're really, um, they kind of just give you blisters before you break them in, however I didn't have to break in mine at all and my feet were totally fine after the first day of wearing them and I wore them for around um, 10 hours at school and I was pretty much good for the day. 
um, except that my feet were really hot, but you know what, that I would way rather have that than get blisters, so. And if you guys want to know how I style these personally, you guys should go ahead and check out my video that I have up with around six or seven outfits with them on. And um, I'm going to show you kind of what they look like in the light and outside because I remember when I was first researching um, buying these, I wanted to know how exactly bright they are. Now in the sunlight, they are a bit redder and vibrant, however they're still pretty dark and they're still burgundy. Indoors, they're definitely more of a maroon, dark, deep color, um, which I prefer a lot more. They're chunky and from the side, they do make my feet look rather huge and manly, but um, just frontwards on, it looks really nice. So if you want to get these, I'm going to tell you right now, go ahead and get them. Them. And some other online retailers that are great are Zappos, um, Journeys, um, even the Doc Martin website. They all have great shipping and return policies. Overall, these are an excellent shoe. If you're looking for sort of a statement shoe that can be worn casually, I would definitely recommend Doc Martens because, like I said, they're not a splurge. I see it as more of an investment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.